So today I'm here at Up and Running in Milton Keynes to try out their new technology. So I'm not really sure what um, I'm doing as of yet, but I just know that I'm going on a treadmill and it's going to look at my gait. I've brought along three different styles of trainers today, um, things that I've like things or trainers that I've raced or trained in over the last few years. I've got a pair of New Balance and um, the 1400s which I first sort of started running in. Um, last year then, well start of this year they made a transition to the Adidas Boost. Um, and then also I have a pair of the Nike Next Percent. So I've bought them along because I'm really interested and intrigued to see how this affects my running gait and my style. This is uh, Up and Running's new type of gait analysis. This is our 3D motion capture gait analysis. What it allows us to do is video a runner in three dimensions basically and see what every joint of the body is doing. And then you can see what stresses are on the joints, what type of running you are, what injury risks you've got and how efficient you are in each individual shoe. Fantastic. And then, so if I was to come in, what do I have to do so, to go through the process? Basically, it's a little bit more in-depth than a traditional gait analysis. You have to dress correctly, so you need to be in shorts and you need to be in a nice bit of top, preferably not black. Ladies need to wear their hair up because obviously hair affects the motion capture and that kind of thing. And generally, it's a much longer process. It will take you anywhere between sort of half an hour to an hour of going through individual shoes, videoing you and, and talking through kind of results. And then you get an email copy of all your results, which obviously you can use for yourself, but obviously you can give to your physio as well. I first tried the New Balance 1400s and they showed up to be quite a good shoe for me to do my training and my easier runs in. I then stepped onto the treadmill in my Adidas Adi Zero and I had to run at my marathon pace. So we set that to around eight minute miles, um, five minute um, pace kilometers and I had to run at that pace for 45 seconds until we could see the results. Here we were then able to compare the run from the New Balance and the Adidas and we could put the results up side by side on the screen which was really great to see how the difference or the variances were between each different style of trainer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so your ground contact time is better. Yeah. Breaking force is still quite high. Your forward lean is actually worse. I was just asking for the parking, but it's fine over there. Vertical force is basically the same. We've got more lateral force. So that means you're faster in these, but there's actually more stress through your joints in those than it is in the new balance. So the new balance are slower, but better than the new balance. Yeah, and then there's a big answer to that. Because you've got a lot more pushing. Yeah. 
So if we compare this, so we would it be worth then maybe um, yeah, we can do that. So, what we could do, so this one is. Yeah, yes. So, in terms of marathons. So, we're using. A lot more energy. I shall work out for you how many more calories that is per mouth because that's a lot of space. Using getting less free energy from your joint and your ligaments and things like that. Thank you, guys. Very similar in terms of where your joints and everything are. Yeah. Similar in terms of joint yeah. So you've gone down from 3.83 to 1. Mm. Mm. Hey, Contact time is higher. So there we have it, a small insight into the new motion metrics technology that Up and Running in Milton Keynes has to offer runners. So I'll quickly go through what the technology was able to give us and what information it was able to show because it was, try, it was quite hard to sort of get um, a full picture of, of the screen whilst obviously trying to go through it as well. So the first thing it tells you is what type of type of runner or the profile runner that you are. Um, and it gave you characteristics based on your, your gait. So... Um, and it gives you sort of like the optimal style that it wants you to have and also sort of what may occur if you if you are a certain profile type. So I was a, an eco sprinter, I think, um, which is quite a good profile to have. And it's one of the ones that gets least injured, which is great news. Next, the next part was about running performance. So there we had things like elastic exchange, your economy, the type of strike, like the foot strike that you have, your cadence, your contact time, the forward lean, the braking force. And it's quite apparent that um, I don't actually heel strike, but my heel does come forward first before then the contact time is on the floor. So, um, but because of my heel is sort of going first towards the ground, that then um, creates a breaking fall. So that is something that I can work on. Um, my contact time was said that it was pretty okay, but it can be improved. So contact time I can improve by doing things like running drills, so high knees, the skips, all things like that. So just to make sure that I continue with those in the future. Um, we then moved on to um, the gait. So that is more about sort of your um, your hip and your knee angles. Um, and <clears throat> again, there's a few things that I can work upon. Um, so it, it gives you the hip alignment and also the legs um, and it seems that my gait is sort of crossing over slightly. So rather than running forward, crossing over slightly. So that's something that I can chat to with my physio about and maybe see um, if I can continue with strength training and try and sort of um, improve that. The last thing was about joint loading and just how much, again, how much load is going through the joints. And that's a big thing for the risk of injury. So um, there was loads of things that I could work on, but in overall general um the style my style of running was okay i would say that it's like fantastic but in the different pairs of trainers it was really interesting to understand what type of like running performance i had in each of the three different ones so <clears throat> Just a bit of an overview. So the New Balance, um, I'd, it seems that I'd get less injured in. Um, however, they were slowing me down. So these would be a great pair of trainers that I could use for long runs, my easy types, um, 
quite easy type of runs. So they'll be perfect for um, marathon training or just any um, sort of easy running in general. Next, we then moved on to the Adidas. Now, these were making me faster. Um, my economy was better. However, it was placing more um, load on the joints. So that means that these would be good for sort of faster type sessions or racing in, but not to do too much work in them in general, um, in terms of my volume of training, just because that might increase my risk of injury. We then moved on to the Nike Next Percent. So this might be what people are quite um, wanting to hear about, but actually, according to this technology, these were actually slowing me down. Um, in terms of contact time, that was in increased my vertical um, placement was going up that might have been down to the carbon um, fiber plate um, and just because it's a different type of shoe so the new balance and adidas i believe the two that i've got are quite similar in terms of like their profile and the shoe support um, and the nike next percent are quite cushioned and something that i'm not used to to running in um, so it's a bit, I, I do find this a bit strange because the Nikes um, I have worn a number of times and I've had really good runs in them, like I said at the start of the video. But it's um, a really good service that they provide at um, Up and Running in Milton Keynes. They'll be, I believe this will be launching properly in the new year. So if you do want to um, have, a, have a look or try it out or just find some more information, then definitely contact Dion on Up and Running and um, get yourselves down there because it was it was fascinating and it, it, it's a really good, especially if you are injury prone, just to have a look at maybe where where these injuries are occurring. So then you can pass these onto the physio and then get some exercises um, to understand how this is happening and how to improve. So yeah, I hope that this has been useful for some people. I know that some people were really excited to to see what what this technology is about i really enjoyed the session and i did find it really really useful but thank you if you've made it to the end of the video and i'll see you all in the next one mm -hmm.